continuing with the um, the recent story I'm telling because I'm trying to straighten out this the chronological order of the playlist but that's I already explained that now I'm gonna um, talk about the rest of what happened the day of the flat I had to uh, well, it had already flattened once. That's how the donut got there. And then it went flat, probably because it hadn't been used. But So let's get back to where we left off. The, um... Shoot, this happened. Um, so I got done and I got, got it patched. But you see, leading up to this, I had, uh... I made a little prayer. I was out of town, and this story's a 10-mile-per-hour car. I uh, had it. The check engine light had been on and then went off. I did something to fix it. I ain't going to go into details. Change gears and go this way home. Which way's faster? Uh, hard to say. I go the direct route. Now I'm taking the different way. Rather this thing go on the free when they stop and start. It's not good for it. Okay, so I'd said a little prayer when I was out of town to say they, I need for two things to happen. Requesting that two things. One, this thing makes it back. Two, I do what I had been thinking about doing for a long time, and that's to mail somebody concerning this car, the person that gave it to me, an uh, early Christmas present. Because uh, I feel like they had been dumbed down uh, by, uh, or just, they just had a really stupid, goofy uh, mold mechanic, and, and that's just another story, but. Okay, so my first prayer got answered. Um, it made it back home to the other home. Then the uh, second thing needed to take place, but you know, for the longest time since I came up with the idea of the early Christmas present, uh, some little voice kept telling me, don't do it, don't do it, because if you do it, going to start having problems with the vehicle. It already was, but it's just going to be, you're going to start having more problems with the vehicle. It's, it's strange. It's that I got to go through with those. It's, it's, it's only right. I have to do the right thing. I listen to this silly, uh, weird uh, thought or uh, idea or whatever. And um, Sure enough, within about a week of mailing that gift, um, I had that flat. Just it wasn't. If it was a screw, it wasn't in there anymore. If it was a nail or a staple or whatever, it wasn't in there. A piece of glass. It all it had done it was just made a blemish, a little hole, a little tear, a tiny little tear, and. Um, it's just freaky how it happened because I just I didn't notice until I I'd been in the store about 20 minutes and I didn't even find what I wanted and but I started it up and it was just all the way flat just in that amount of time I I thought maybe somebody had sabotaged and let the air out just how could this have happened like so fast I mean just maybe it was getting there and I didn't notice it anyway so I had to change it that's no big deal you got to change a tire once in a while and, and so I, I resolved the problem and what wasn't that big of a deal but you see when the back to the tow truck driver remember he'd been dispatched to the wrong place you know and that's some there's three of us that could have contributed to that mistake but see it was it was enough of a delay 
to where it, it, I was running late, and I said, well, who can hear it? How long is it going to take to put air in it? I'll, I'll get where I'm going to this very important, important doctor's appointment concerning a colostophony or whatever it is, because that's the one, colon cancer is the one you got to catch fast. Well, all of them you got to catch fast, so that's what I was trying, trying to do, and I'd already screwed up uh, once, and then... And, uh, he, he finally got there and he said, oh, okay, there'll be enough time. But he he took about 10 minutes looking for uh, the nozzle to the compressor hose. And it wasn't there and he had to go back to the yard. So I had to, I knew that it I wasn't going to make it nice. So while he was going to get the nozzle uh, to put the air in, I canceled the appointment. And I had to, had to wait two weeks for the next one. So I'm running up stress. And that's you're dealing with your life. So this, I don't want to use this certain word, but oh, this is work. Um, it's just, just kind of spooky. And then now a second thing has happened, and that's the check engine light. Well, I put, I put the fluid in that I think might be the solution or at least a band-aid because I don't think I'm going to buy a, a new catalytic converter um, but you see what I mean uh, I really had not dogged this to make the engine light come on I, you know it hadn't really been through the the hot and a very hot place to make it do that. In fact, the weather's been nice and cold while I've been back most of the time. Just decided to uh, act up the idiot light. Oh, I'm having so much trouble. My problem is I don't all right, so you see, do you listen to the creepy little voice or do you listen to the righteous one? Who knows? Bye. Thanks for viewing. Please uh, learn.